Hi, my name is Marcus Isaac. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how I shoot a mermaid editorial using a green screen backdrop. Keep on watching. Okay, so welcome back. So now here we are with our model, Mariam. All right, so we already know what today's theme is, a mermaid editorial photo shoot. We're going to cut her out of this green screen backdrop. All right, so let me give you a little tour on what we have, our setup, how many lights we have, camera settings, and the like. Okay, so to begin, our main light is a five-foot Octabank uh, Pro Photo D2 strobe. All right, we have that set up, I'll tell you right now. I have that set up as 7.0, right? That's the main light. As a side light, I have another Profoto D2, and this one's set at a power of 5.0 to kind of offset the main light. And I also have a grid connected to it to kind of keep the light directional on the side of her face, right? So it's kind of set up like a portrait shoot. Uh, again, I already have the, the background uh, selected. So this is the setup, the lighting setup we have for that backdrop. Now, on the opposing sides, I have two B1s, right, uh, pro photos. Now, what are they for? We need these lights to actually light up the green screen separately. So when I take this photo, take the photo into Photoshop, I can actually separate it, cleanly cut her out. Because with the, the backdrop being nicely illuminated, I get a nice even exposure of green. So when I select the color to remove her out of the backdrop, it makes it that much easier. Okay, and as far as camera settings, these lights are set up at a F5. I'm using the Nikon D850. I'm using my new favorite 70 to 200 Tamron lens. And um, my flash speed sync for my D850 is 200th of a shutter speed. And the native ISO is 64, which is a beautiful thing. This way I get some nice, crisp, crisp sharp photos uh, utilizing the strobes, all right? That'll be all, keep on watching, thank you. Okay, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe, shoot that like button, and if you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.